when it gets cold, it will change your vocal. Oh, no. Yeah, and you can. So that thing. And he got sick too. He could not. They basically had to rejigger things around for a couple of weeks because he got like pneumonia up in Big Bear. Well, see, here's part of it. When they go across the red carpet, okay, how often do you see them go across the red carpet in coats and jackets? Hardly ever. No, but you see them like if you, if, it, 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 it would be a neat thing. Something what we're going to do probably gives me an idea for a series is covering the red carpets. We're actually show the car, you know, it, you know, from the background. Yeah, I mean, because you'll see the guy stand off this, you know, I mean, it's got to be cold as hell. I mean, an example, we went to, a, uh, we did an auto show, and then from the auto show, we did the Orange County uh, Hot 25, where we were, I had on a, 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 you know, I was wearing silk, silk shirt, silk everything, silk socks, she's wearing a gown. And then we went outside, we did an, an ice cube carpet after that, later at night. You do not know what cold is until you're wearing silk. Mm -hmm. And she's got a gown, you know, she can't wear, you know, she's doing the, the stuff and, and you cannot put it on when you're on the carpet. You're basically supposed to look good. So she froze her rear end off. I froze mine off. No, I just wear a jacket. Yeah, no, but, um, <laughs> I just wear something stylish. But you have to, you have to pull it through. She was sick when uh, we had an opportunity to do something over at the Long Beach Grand Prix, which we maybe you know we may never get an opportunity to do that again, which was to do the driver's walk. Oh, the actually, course. yeah. And she was not really well when we did it. So you know, so we're we're walking like two and a half miles on and, the pavement, and she's trying to oh, you know when the opportunity popped up because I mean like she didn't do much talking until she ran into one of the drive one of the women drivers who was walking in heels. She did the total two and a half mile in heels. I know. I looked at her and says, I can't believe it. I said, you're walking that in hills? She says, I know. Yeah, because <laughs> the people were taking photographs of her. I know. See, that's, and you know what it did to her? Her ankles, Danica Patrick with the other women drivers were all riding in vehicles, but she, she's the new hot one, so she had to do the heel walk. But, um, you know, but she got, uh, she really, it, it set the pace for the next rest of the time, which was basically much slower. We were we'd get we'd go from the press room over to the you know over to the um, track very slowly from the track back. Well, because it was room. hot and you're on the track yeah. and and see part of it was it's not like we didn't know so it was like we were out there near the track and found out we could so we just went out there so it's not like we had water bottled we, water. We had like one this. bottle of water for yeah. the entire two and a half miles one bottle so but um, <laughs> but. Uh, you know, so if you figure out a lot of the things that we have done have basically not been conducive. We've had last moment things that we've been allowed to do. But we've also, because of health reasons, we haven't done a lot of the things that we've been offered to do. Mm -hmm. We've turned down a lot of things we could have went to. So because, I mean, uh, that she, she's not doing as many things at night because of the throat. Uh, but um, the, your health, and it's just like I said, it's a it's a family thing because, um, like I said, because my brothers and sisters, we all went to regular schools. So I mean, well, actually, I didn't go to regular. You you can't you don't call Beverly Hills High and um, <laughs> Fairfax is at regular schools, folks. Not in those days, no, because they were full of acting families. But um, my brothers and sisters, they went to like uh, Grandview and Hickman and places like that because they were in a different category than, than me. So they say, well, why, why were they treated differently? Because I, I've been doing, I, I've been acting all of my life. I've been, I'm 64 years, I've been in the business. None of the others ever got in front of a camera oh, except for family shots. My mother did not like it. My mother did not approve of me doing that. But then I was the one that was sort of the weird one in the family anyway. But, um, so I would get whatever they were getting. And then, you know, the, I would, I'm a good one, I, I, we're doing things, you know, hey kid, what do your brothers or sisters have today? And they said, nothing, okay. <laughs> so that was it, you know, because... Well, see, part of it, just like kids in school, right, the kids' class, it all kind of goes around the classroom, right? Yep. And Same she, thing, they all go, all the industry vets they all go around. Yeah, and, you know, she's had to skip out on a trip to China because of the... Uh, yeah, they're going next week and I'm not going. Yeah. And the reason she's not going is because uh, 
the it has to do with family health issues. Mm -hmm. See, uh, you know, she can't afford to get sick again because we've got um, we've got very shortly coming up after that we have things that we're being allowed to go to again that we haven't been able to go to for two yeah. years and she really has to be at her best. I know, see part of it is, is um, it's like people, if you've got people in your family that are actors, have to be on camera or something like that, it's like it's it's a little bit different because you can't afford to be sick. I, I know a lot afford. of them, you know, they take a lot of vitamins and there's a lot of you that think, well I can't afford to be sick either I'm, you know, like, I'm the main breadwinner in the family. That's also true. Yeah. Um, but here's the part that's different is, um, because you're thinking, oh, just take some medication. Well, guess what? Um, like, I would take medication during the night. The next day we would film, and he'd say, what did you do? You're I'm like, what are you talking about? And, and then found out that I took medication the night before so I could sleep. Yeah, and okay? you look like it the next day. And so, or I took medication and I couldn't wake up. Yeah. Or... I mean... Okay, you take... Um, okay, we're going to try something very simple as over-the-counter sinus medicine. It is all makes you drowsy no matter what they say. And you're thinking, well, I don't feel drowsy. Well, see, part of it is is you, I'm on camera all the time, and so people notice maybe a difference in personality. He'll notice a difference. Yeah. But the other part is he'll see the difference in my face. Yeah. Because even though you can't function and you can still go to work, because... Okay, and what it is is her eyes will... Uh, she can lie through the... No, I'm a very good liar. Is, I'm not very No, but good. she can tell you that she's feeling well. I'm like, bit. I'm feeling okay because you always want to But then she that. sounds all right, and I look at her eyes, and her eyes are about ready to go. Uh, you know. Oh, it's those slanted eyes that give you away. Yeah, so she's got, you know, those, you know that song, Your Lying Eyes. No, her lies don't, her eyes don't lie. But, um, no, but she's, you know, she's, she just, it's just, um, the, as, it works too. As the 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 more you move up in the food chain in our business, the more careful you have to be about everything you do. Which is not you know it's not has to do about who you see. Actually, it does. You know if you know that people are got kind of family members. It's like I said, they would ask. They flat out ask me. You know who's sick in your family today? And I say nobody. You know like I tell them the truth anyway because I didn't pull it through because. If you get something, you can give it to everybody else. Mm -hmm. That's and, the problem. And that you can't. I mean, right now, for instance, at this date, Taylor Swift is canceling concerts. Are you serious? Because she's serious? sick. Mm. And uh, and a singer, a sickness can be as simple Oof. as um, uh, sinuses, sinuses. Or sore throat. Yeah, because um, it, it, put it, okay, this way, if if you have no vocal range to begin with, which she really doesn't have. And you can't hit the note that you can hit. I mean, um, uh, it's just. Uh, it's, it's, it's very costly. You I, got, if you have to cancel court tour dates. Yeah, mm -hmm. because um, like here's something that most people don't realize about Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball had a big. She had sort of a, a real masculine, uh, horsey voice. That the Lucy, the thing that she put on camera was a made-up voice that she would do. When she would get really feeling bad. She couldn't get into that voice, and uh, because she couldn't get into that voice, means they, uh, you know, they have to shoot that day. They couldn't shoot. Or that they'd day. have to shoot something else. They would have to shoot something she didn't speak, and it, um, you know, it's a bad deal. I mean, I know reporters that basically, like I said, they can't go on camera because of the they lose their voice. Uh, you cannot have a guy that's got a baritone voice with nasal congestion because it makes him sound like he's, um, you know, sort of wimpy. I mean, I, I know the, one of the reporters, basically one of the stations locally, he basically goes around with his shirt unbuttoned and his, and his big blonde hair with pompadour and bronze body. And um, he gets cold he doesn't want camera because he squeaks. Ah, yeah. see? Yeah, and so like I said, we, you know, uh, we do, like I said, for since, uh, since after the Academy, we actually, we really had a long night on Oscar night, folks. I mean, we, we had breakfast the next morning that was at, the, good. at the Franco party. It was a very long night. That was a very fun night. Yeah. But the problem was it was not one of these places where you could wear a wrap. So she's in her, uh, what is it, uh, Brickell by Seagal by Brickell Fashions or something? Uh, Brickell Fashions. Brickell Fashions, yeah. And she's wearing it, which basically is really not, 
is really thin and it's cold. And so she's wearing my coat in order to try to keep warm. But most of the women like her, I mean, um, was it Leah Thompson, basically, she got an outfit that cut way down to her belly button and everything is showing, and she's like this, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and we were lucky. We were able to get inside real quick because, they, you know, this is one of the things I actually got in on my name, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? But, um, so we could get, we got hurried in, but a lot of the people had to wait outside without, you know, the guys in their tuxes, and their silk shirts and socks, which freeze your ear in. And the girls with no wraps on because they came from the Kodak Theater, which was a block up the street. So you walk. And it was not like there was a place to put wrap. I mean, I remember the women, the women wearing wraps. You know, they, you know, would you sit there and watch our stuff when we go to the ladies' room? Mm -hmm. you know, I'm sitting there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm guarding with the few coats that people had with them. And most of them didn't. So um, I think Colin Hanks was making fun of the fact that you know, his, his, his wife basically, you know, I, I told you. Uh, yeah, she's basically, yeah. <laughs> you know, the room was cold too. But um, uh, the next day, we didn't do a wrap up because she was chilled. So it would have been, yeah, it would have been, we should have done it the next day, but um, the, it wasn't advisable. But like I said, right now, she's, She's on the rebound, but uh, you know, like I said, we will um, if there's if she's.